we're going to go through two examples of finding the eigenvectors corresponding to a given eigenvalue. The first example will be with a 2x2 two two matrix, and then with a 3x3 three three matrix. Here's the definition of eigenvectors and eigenvalues if you need to review. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing these topics. So in each example, we'll be given a matrix A and an eigenvalue, that's lambda, and we'll be looking for all vectors x so that A times x is actually just lambda times x. Those are the eigenvectors. Here's our first example, matrix A, and the given eigenvalue of 5. Looking for eigenvectors, of course, by definition, we need A times x to equal lambda times x. Any non-zero vector x satisfying this equation is by definition an eigenvector. Now, lambda times x, we can write that as matrix multiplication, by multiplying the identity by lambda and then multiplying that by x. Now lambda times x is the same as lambda times the identity matrix times x. It's nice to write it that way because then we can just write all of this as matrix multiplication. So if we do that and move ax over to the right, we end up with lambda times the identity minus that matrix A all times the vector x must equal zero. And so then we're looking for solutions to a homogeneous linear system. This times a vector x, those are the eigenvectors, has to equal zero. So we begin by just finding what this matrix lambda i minus a is. Well, it's going to have lambdas on the main diagonal because lambda times the identity. And then we're going to subtract a. So on the diagonal, we'll be subtracting the entry of a and off the diagonal, we'll just have the negative entries of A. So instead of negative 4, we have positive 4. On the diagonal here, instead of 2, we have lambda minus 2. And this matrix times this vector must equal the 0 vector. We can then set lambda equal to 5. That's the given eigenvalue. So 5 minus 2 is 3. 5 minus 5 is 0. And we end up with this system which is very easy to solve. We have a leading entry in column one, and we have no leading entry in column two. So the variable corresponding to column two, x2, is a free variable. Let's say x2 equals t. So then from this first row, we have that 3x1 equals negative 4x2. So x1 equals negative 4 thirds x2. But then letting x2 equal t, we can express the arbitrary solution vector in terms of t. So any non-zero vector of this form will be an eigenvector. Any vector where the first entry is negative 4 thirds times the second entry. We can then take the parameter t out to write it like this. And then this vector here is a basis for all eigenvectors corresponding to this eigenvalue. So if you put this problem in a calculator, you'll get one vector like this back, but really it's all the non-zero scalar multiples of this vector that are the eigenvectors. So this is one vector that spans what we call the eigenspace, the space of all eigenvectors, including the zero vector. So any scalar multiple of this vector will have the property that multiplying it by the matrix A actually just multiplies its entries by five. Next, here's a three by three example, which will proceed in very much the same way. The given eigenvalue is negative five. Again, by definition, we arrive at this same equation, lambda i minus a times the eigenvector x must equal zero, and that gives us this homogeneous linear system. Here's that solution vector x, and then here's lambda times the identity minus a. So off the diagonal, we have the negatives of the entries of a. On the diagonal, we have lambda minus whatever the corresponding entry of a is. We then set lambda equal to negative 5, that's the given eigenvalue, so negative 5 plus 2, negative 3, negative 5 minus 1, negative 6, and so on. So now we just have to solve this system, which we can do using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Link in the description to my lesson on Gauss-Jordan elimination if you need to review, but you can verify yourself that if we reduce this matrix, we arrive here. And now we have a leading entry in column one, a leading entry in column two, so x1 and x2 are not free, but there is no leading entry in column three, so x3 will be a free variable. 
From the first row, we have that x1 must equal negative x3. From the second row, we have that x2 must equal negative half x3. And again, x3 itself is going to be a free variable. So say x3 equals t. So then any vector of this form, where the first entry is the negative of the third, and the second entry is negative half times the third, any vector like that, which we could write like this, taking the parameter t out, is going to be an eigenvector, provided it's non-zero. And again, if you put this in a calculator, you would get a single vector like this as the eigenvector. And that means any non-zero scalar multiple of this eigenvector would be another eigenvector. This vector forms a basis for, it spans, what we call the eigenspace corresponding to this given eigenvalue. If we had multiple free variables, like for example, if x2 was also free, we would set x2 equal to some other parameter, like s, and then we would have two linearly independent eigenvectors. We'd have the coefficients of t in one eigenvector, and then we would have the coefficients of s in a different eigenvector. That situation is definitely possible. These two examples just had a single linearly independent eigenvector. If you want to see some examples where a single eigenvalue gives way to multiple linearly independent eigenvectors, links in the description, you can check that out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my Linear Algebra videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to certain videos, as well as access to my lecture notes if you join at the premium tier or above. Thanks for watching. Huh. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what's